Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Deborah. I'm with Beaton Family Support Center and I want to take a moment to talk about the upcoming excitement that you have, um, but some fears that may be surrounding this returning to home as well. Many of you may be returning to children of all different ages, so I want you to take a moment and I want you to think about those kiddos at home, whether they are less than a year, couple months old, even up into those teenage years. Take a moment and just think about it. And think about those individuals in your life, specifically as we go through the next few minutes, uh, to talk about some just basic things with regards to returning to children. So one thing I do want you to keep in mind is they're not the only ones, right, with concerns about um, coming home. Just like you have concerns, they have concerns too. They want to make sure that they are making you proud, right? They want to, um, you know, share with you all the exciting things that they have learned or done uh, while you have been away. And they also don't know how to express some of those things. And that's one of the biggest frustrations I think sometimes for, um, for parents and children alike is sometimes they just can't express those emotions, right? We aren't born with the emotional understanding and education. That's something that we gain as we get older. So especially for our little ones, right? They don't know how to express that they're frustrated. Uh, it usually comes in tears or fits. Right? So just keep some of those things in mind. Um, but while we are all, children and adults alike, excited for this next stage, we also have some things that you know may be worrying, worrying us, fears, right? Some things like, you know, will, will my kiddos remember me? Right? Especially some of the younger ones. If you've been away for a while, are they going to remember who mommy or daddy is? Uh, and, you know, will they remember how to tie my shoes the right way? Are they double knotted? Does the bunny go through the hole? All those different kinds of things, right? That's where their minds are. Uh, the older ones are going to, again, want to make sure that they've just made you proud, right? Or how is my role going to change? Maybe they, become, they became... Uh, the man of the house or the oldest, right? And who started taking on a lot of other responsibilities. So kind of like returning to a spouse or loved one, we have to follow some of the same expectations and the same just thought processes as we return to our kiddos. So let's look at this. What are some things that you can do as a parent? So one of the biggest things here it's just go slow, right? Again, this is a process. Everybody's trying to learn everybody. Again, you're trying to learn all the new rules and routines that have been put in place since you've been out of the house. Uh, and, and that's okay, right? If the original plan that you guys had put together prior to deployment is not the plan that was stuck to, it's all right. Right? Things change. We have to adapt. We have to adjust what we're doing to make it meet the needs for the moment. So go slow, right? Don't be upset either if, you know, the child runs to the caregiver that's been there. Um, it's just something that they are comfortable with, right? They need that opportunity to warm up to you uh, as well. Don't take it personally because they're super excited to have you home. They just may be a little shy. Maybe they're not quite sure how to express it yet. And some of them, depending on how many deployments they've been to, might also be thinking about, when are you going away again? Right? How much time do I have with mom or dad before there's another deployment? So go slow. Get involved. Get involved in the little ways. It could be something as simple as feeding, bath time, story time, changing a diaper, going for a walk, whatever it might be, take little steps, right? We all had to learn how to 
crawl, and then walk before we could run. And the same holds true here. We have to take them in pieces. So we all want to be super mom or super dad when we get home and have the capes, right, flowing. But don't hesitate to take it slow, right? Little bits at a time. And then build upon that. Think of it like the building blocks you're probably going to step on in the next couple of days. Okay. Something you could do now, again, depending on the age of your, of your children, if they are able to communicate, um, send them an email, right? Send them an email individually. Address it to each child and write them a note that makes them feel special. That's one way that you can go ahead and start this reintegration process with your kids, right? Send them that email. Tell them how excited you are or how proud you are or ask them, you know, hey, what's been the most exciting thing? What have you learned? What are you doing? You know, um, as you go through this process and, and get that conversation going. Let them help. When you get home, pretend like you forgot things like how to make a bed or how to cook a certain thing, or how to tie your shoe even, right? Especially if that's something that a little one has learned how to do while you've been away, have them teach you. It is the coolest thing when the kid gets to teach his or her parent how to do something. It's the coolest, right? So have them show you. Have them show you how they make their bed. If one of their responsibilities was loading the dishwasher, have them teach you how to load it, right? You'll be surprised at how excited they get over some of the littlest things. Stay tuned for some more tips. Um, things like, you know, how to manage, right? Those expectations. So not just some things that we can do to get started, but then how does that all really play out? Stay tuned. I'll share that with you in just a minute.